Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Today is, uh, we've, we only just recently started going back to work. We are at the end of March and come April, uh, the local government here in Chongqing says that we might be able to, to return more or less back to normal. Communities have started opening up and uh, it's, everything is just a little bit less restricted at the moment. But I just came home from a, from a long day's work and so what I really want now is just a cup of coffee. So in one of my earlier vlogs back when this whole thing started, I alluded to a couple of things that I thought I might be doing during the quarantine. And now that the quarantine is more or less over at this point, I'm still sort of getting into many of these hobby things. And one of them is coffee. Now in a previous vlog, I did make coffee using my little Stereso hand uh, presser to make uh, espresso shots. Um, but this time I thought I'd do something a little bit more uh, complicated for me at least, which is to make pour over coffee, which is something that I haven't really tried to do before. Um, and so I have these uh, coffee beans and more on how I got these later. That's for another vlog. But you can actually get specialty coffee in Chongqing. It's not that difficult. It's readily available and then you can make your own coffee at home. So I grabbed my beans and uh, a couple of months ago, I actually bought an entire set just for making uh, pour over coffee, just so I could teach myself how to do it. Um, and then learn not to be so reliant on Starbucks and locking coffee and, and what have you. Uh, so without any more ado, let's uh, get into the coffee making. Now, this is by no means like a, a guide on how to make pour over coffee the correct way or anything. This is just how I make it. It's a little quick and dirty. I don't measure anything up. I use uh, three teaspoons of coffee beans. I grind them up and then I pour on top of that and boom, I have coffee. That's good enough for me. <laughs> right now, it's just what I need. Took a little bit of work but there is something incredibly soothing and relaxing about making coffee this way and taking the time that it takes to brew the coffee yourself uh, especially grinding the beans oh, I, could, I could do that all day and sometimes I'll grind way more coffee beans than I need but it's finally here we got the coffee done looks good 
how does it taste? Now that's a, that's a, that's the real test of how this went. Yep, we did good. A little energy for the rest of the day. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee. I will come up with a with a vlog later on how I got this coffee and where I got it from, um, so I can share with you how to get your own specialty coffee in Chongqing and brew it at home. And uh, so yeah, I am going to relax and enjoy this, and I will see you in the next one.